Hey everyone, so I said that I would do a quick little product uh, recommendation for people. So if you happen to be catching this, chances are there's something here that could benefit you because I was tuning in to the people watching. So first thing, we have a rose quartz crystal. So this is really great for romantic relationships, which, which it seems like lots and lots of people are uh, focusing on. So when I tune into this energy, yeah, I feel like bringing more warmth into your life. So again, that could be the relationship that you have with yourself as well. This is 13. And then we have selenite. So selenite is something we use to cleanse all of our crystals and the things around us. So that is $7. Then we have uh, herbs. Okay, so we've got larger herbs are 30 uh, herbal tinctures. Okay. So these we ingest. So it's important to also do your own research to make sure that it's safe for you, of course, to take. Uh, we take these on an empty stomach. And again, it's going to vary from person to person, the amount that you take based on, of course, your energy and how sensitive you are, that sort of thing. But this goes into your bloodstream. So if you look up again, what milk thistle does really great for uh, the liver, cleansing, energy out, that sort of thing. So the bigger is 30 and the smaller is 18. I just kept the prices consistent because it's like give or take small amounts. And so most people that are buying these things are buying that and something else, etc. So for the sake of like, you know, a dollar or two, I just balance it all to make it consistent. Okay. Um, so we've got nettle here as well. Nettle is a very calming uh, energy as well. It feels like if you're working on success, determination, nettle is a good one for you. So again, there's energy and vibrations within these um, outside of just the, the how they're going to affect you physically, right? Emotionally, that sort of thing. So pure tincture, actually I made this for someone because they're working on weight loss. So it actually has um, uh, tea. It's pure is a is a black tea that's aged so uh, that can again kind of speed up your your uh your vibration really like raise your vibration okay so then we have jasmine and again i don't treat i don't diagnose i'm not a doctor just to let you guys know jasmine again that's a nice little like floral um floral herb so to me that's like peace serenity that sort of thing and of course these all have different um different flavors. So you can put a very small amount underneath your tongue or you can put it in with some juice in the morning, uh, you know, whatever whatever you want to essentially kind of like chug it with uh, because th it's kind of like taking medicine. It doesn't taste awesome, okay? Uh, if you want something that tastes awesome, I do sell teas as well. So lemon balm, this is an excellent tincture for, I'd say, 900% of the people that I work with. Uh, lemon balm has a soothing effect where it has a lot of healing agents. Uh, it also, again, can release toxins. Then we have mugwort. This is more of like a protection herb, oddly enough. Um, this is very bitter, um, really strong. Um, I feel like if you're working on like shadow work, again, detoxing, this, this would be a good one for you. So more of like our witchy woo-woo people. Black pepper and turmeric. So black pepper works better with turmeric so that's why I combine these so black pepper is great for like blood pressure uh, confidence um, of course all around health like you, you can go on it's probably a, an um, anti-inflammatory as well with the turmeric um, so turmeric as we know um, has so many different healing properties but a lot of it is like when we have joint pain and things like that, right? So it can be good, good for the mind as well. So that has a really powerful energy. So again, just being mindful if you're taking that one and everything uh, that I have will come in a larger or smaller form, okay? So St. John's Wort and some of these things I'm um, topping up or I'm changing labels and just little things like that. So don't worry too much about what, the way that they look, okay? St. John's Wort, again, uh, this is known for depression. Often with herbs, we don't tell people, like, this is going to cure your cure your conditions. It, again, if you're on medications, things like that, St. John's Wort, because these are really, like, strong, powerful herbs, they are, um, so yeah, this is, like, pain relief, uh, stress, mood balancing, that sort of thing as we were already talking about. Um, so yes, you, you don't want to overdo some of these herbs. You don't want to take 
uh, them for too long. Uh, I personally, when I work with my herbs, I really trust my intuition actually with them. I'm also not on medication. And so, and I don't, I'm sensitive, so I don't go overboard with them. And I really just trust, you know, how I feel after I take them and, and things like that. So, um, I do have recommendations and, um, you know, what to take, what with, etc. underneath my horsemanreadings.com. And also you can purchase things through there as well. So you can actually take more time and read about them. But these were the ones I felt drawn towards. Um, I also have chamomile as well, which is another uh, one for reducing anxiety, helping with our sleep, calming the energy down typically before bed, or maybe it's mid afternoon if you have some like projects and wanting to go down for a nap that sort of thing Ch t uh, ginger is my favorite tincture i absolutely adore it that's really what helped me with a lot of my uh stomach problems and things like that so i think most of us know that it's like anti-inflammatory again really great for the nervous system those people who are grounding uh, but i'm getting like nervous tension as well calendula again i ended up making this one in relation to allergies and things like that that's what drew, drew me into that one um so again you can read about these online um and so i have a lot of different herbs i'm currently making i have more again but these were the ones i felt were significant right now um but yeah i feel like i don't know i feel like um Skull Cup is another popular one that I don't have made right now. Somebody wants that. That is, again, uh, great for, like, insomnia and things. For some reason, that one's kind of Okay, and then for uh, my crystals, again, I have tons and tons of necklaces. So just ask if you want to know. But Snowflake Obsidian, I recently had a dream about. This is kind of like your go-to meditation stone. So necklaces are six, or, oh my god, $21. Um, so... Rose quartz, this is a uh, blue lace, crazy blue lace agate. Again, hormones, we've been working with some people that have some hormonal imbalances, really great for that. Um, you know, the throat chakra and stuff like obsidian, again, protection stone, that sort of thing. Rose quartz, we were already talking about, but um, you know, if you're on a healing journey, this would be a great one for you. And then for some reason, I have this one, um, the blue sandstone, maybe for somebody's heart chakra, I feel like. You could put it in your pocket, but I feel like if you are a female, you can put it in your bra, that sort of thing. So I made that one 13 without the necklace. If you want to switch them up from silver to black, it's up to you. Again, if you're like really into fancy chains and stuff, you can, of course, switch switch things out. If you just want the pendant, I have no problem with that. Um, I'm also going to be doing some uh, full moon and new moon sprays as well. So I have cleansing sprays. I've got abundance sprays smudge sprays, things like that. So again, feel free uh, to let, let me know if you want to purchase any of those. Other than that, these are our products uh, that were important for our group. So thanks again and uh, talk to you soon. Bye!